Meanwhile, Joe Biden is pushing a radical, radical agenda. Take a look at this. These things would fundamentally change America forever. Slavery reparations, packing the court, D.C. statehood. Uh, this would fundamentally alter the character of this country. And that's what Joe Biden said Donald Trump would do if he remained in office. Do you remember that? Let's bring in the historians, please. Been a while. We've got Doug Weed, presidential historian, former advisor to George H.W. Bush, and Craig Shirley, Reagan biographer, great presidential historian. Doug, by the way, is in Mar-a-Lago. Hey, Doug, how is it down there? Any <laughs> sightings of uh, you-know-who? <laughs> Actually, we have. And he says he's going to stop by here in a few minutes. Your old buddy and the greatest president of my lifetime. You talk about the disaster in New York. Hey, it's like Disneyland here at Mar-a-Lago. Better, <laughs> better than Disneyland. Wow. Well, as soon as he comes in, uh, he's welcome to join the conversation. Thank you. This actually could happen, couldn't it, Doug? Yes, it could happen. I mean, the Democrats have Congress, they have the White House, they have the media, they have Hollywood, they have the bureaucracy, the deep state, they have corporate America, which is ironic because the Democrats act like corporate America is all Republican. Actually, the 20 largest corporations in America, 18 of the CEOs are Democrat, donate to the Democratic Party. Uh, you could go right down the line. They've got all of it except the Supreme Court, and they're dumping money into all of it. I mentioned academia as another example. So uh, the Supreme Court's all that stands between them and a complete dictatorship. And understand, keep in mind, they came out of an election in which they allowed mail-in balloting, mail-in voting. That's illegal in Latin America. Not a country in Latin America allows it because it's wrought with fraud. And after that yes. election, they call it a mandate, and they're trying to turn this country into a, a socialist version of America. Yep. Jimmy Carter warned the same thing about mail-in voting uh, a couple of years ago, about the danger of it. Uh, thoughts on the court situation, please, Craig? I agree entirely with uh, Brother Weed, is that it, packing the court, we've had nine members of the Supreme Court for almost 200 years, and it's worked perfectly fine in 200, 200 years 200 years plus, and it, why shouldn't it work now? There's no rational reason why, except as a power grab. That's what it is, plain and simple, as a power grab by the Democrats. And yes, the court is at risk right now. Doug is right. Uh, and is, is one of the few institutions in America that the, the conservatives still control. Like, like Doug said, is that whether it's Hollywood or the academia or the mainstream media or government, the left controls all these institutions, save the Supreme Court, and now they're going after that. And that's, you know, it's a very dangerous yeah. predicament situation yeah. right now. Hey, do me a favor, Doug. Uh, we got to go, but any sign of <laughs> POTUS 45? <laughs> Not yet. They no, say you a sure? Take bit. a look. He's your buddy. <laughs> really? He's not here yet. No, all right, too bad. <laughs> That's not him. Well, it uh, looks beautiful there, Mar-a-Lago, and uh, I guess you're there for dinner, huh? Yes, dinner. All right, well, enjoy. Wow, Mar-a-Lago, right from the inside. Good for you. And Craig Shirley, thank you. To be continued, gentlemen, we haven't seen you in a while. Uh, we'll, talk, uh, we'll talk more. Back to story. Where is I heard you we are willing to come down and pay my respects and say that we have tremendous respect for you and I watch you whenever I can. Doug, I want to thank you very much. You're really a really fantastic guy and somebody I have a lot of respect for. Okay, I left a lot of people up there to come down here for you. We had it going right and we'll have it going right again. Okay, we'll have it going right again. Yes. And we appreciate you very much and thank you, Doug. Thank you very much. You keep up. Keep up the fight, keep up those books, get those books, have them come, and we'll talk to you. We will indeed talk to you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Doug Weed, your excellent service in government at the White House and in the private sector. I think it will depend a lot on the president. And I went into the Oval Office and Barbara was there. Uh, Jared Kushner said to me, and I've seen that all through history, they want cheap labor. And I mean really behind the scenes. But he uh, is respected by everybody, so he had access to everybody. He had access to everybody.